I'm Abigail McBride, and I am an American Impressionist. Like the traditional Impressionists, I'm interested in painting the many different effects of light. So I paint indoors and outdoors, plein air, on the spot, perceptual, whatever you want to call it. I paint what I see, but I'm also interpreting what I see. So here, I'm going to show you a little bit of my studio. So this is my North Light Studio. I paint both, I paint paintings, but I also do the charcoal portraits. Um, it's pretty messy. Um, but I'm showing it to you anyway. Um, looks, it looks pretty nice when you just are here. But the reality is, is that it's always pretty chaotic. Okay, so, um, well here, look at this. Yeah, look, it's not messy everywhere in my life. That is nice and tidy. And look, there's the onions. There's a painting of the onions in the show as well. I love using those um, really pretty containers. Okay, so I was gonna show you this. I paint all over the house. I don't just paint in the studio. And the light is perfect right now. See this uh, little vase? I don't know if you can see it. Here, let's get a little closer so you can really see it. See a little vase with the buttercup? Oh, so fun. Um, my son picked that buttercup for me when we were on a walk and I loved it so much. And I love it there because just the yellow of the buttercup is getting hit by the sun and then everything else is falling into shadow. So I'm planning on doing a painting where you'll see just the buttercup in the light and then everything else has fallen into shade but you will get to experience the dynamism of the light on the counter down here. Now I might end up using a um, longer board ultimately for the composition, um, but I ran out of longer boards, so I had, to, I had to order more. Okay, so now we'll go back here, back over to my official workspace, but really the whole world is my studio. So I like to put secret narratives in my work, things that have symbolic meaning for me. Even different light effects might have symbolic meaning given the uh, circumstance of the composition, uh, plants and patterns and compositional ideas. They all come together to form a secret narrative and I feel like it brings a soulfulness to the work that helps to make it more expressive. Everything that I do in the work technically is driven by the inner narrative. And I don't think it's limited to my secret narrative because I hope that the viewer or the, the people who experience my work will create their own secret narrative from what they're seeing and that it will have personal meaning for them. 